Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting redemption video. So I don't even know how to say this because it is so stupid of me. About a month ago or a little over a month ago, I did a shoe haul of everything five pounds shoes. Basically, it's a brand from the UK that sells shoes for five pounds, which is around $8 Canadian, by the way. And anyways, so that video had been very requested. You guys seemed excited about it. I was excited to do it. And then every single pair of shoes was the wrong size. Exactly two sizes too big. Now the day I start reading size charts correctly is the day where many of my problems will disappear. But until that day, you guys will keep having to enlighten me after the fact. So for that, I say thank you. You guys told me that it's Europe sizes, UK sizes, US sizes, whatever, Canadian US sizes are all very, very different, and in UK sizes, I am, in, in fact, a size four. I wanna apologize on behalf of that last video for me being an actual egghead and not knowing what size of shoes I should be, and you know what? I was gonna just leave it. I was just gonna be like, you know what? Cut my losses. I did the haul, I still reviewed the shoes. A lot of the quality was still good. I feel like I was still able to review it, but then a lot of you were asking me to do it again, but get the correct sizes, and you know what? That's what I'm doing today because I feel like everything five pounds deserves me to actually be able to review shoes that fit And it wasn't everything five pounds fault that I ordered the wrong shoes. It was 100% my bad So we're doing it again Redemption video so for anyone who is curious, I am a size six and a half in Canadian US sizing. And then in UK sizes, I am in fact a size four or four and a half that's what I learned. I think in my last video I was buying all shoes that were UK size six because like I thought I was a size six or six and a half. In fact, that was like a size eight. I don't even know. Let's forget that video even existed. This is the only video I've ever done on everything five pounds. I don't remember. I don't look back. Let's begin now. All right, so I bought so many pairs of shoes again. Oh my gosh, okay. I actually don't even think any of these shoes had customs on it this time around. Last time there was a lot of customs, but with these, they must have just shipped better because I got no customs. I don't know. Canada, what's up? No customs? I'm not complaining. So I bought quite a few pairs of shoes, a lot of different styles, some fun styles, some crazy styles, some wearable styles. I think without further ado, we will get into it. Like I said, everything is five pounds. That's about $8 Canadian. Um, and that's it. Redemption, let's roll. Redemption. How many times can she say redemption? Okay, so usually how these boxes ship is they'll box each shoe individual no these box a pair of shoes each pair of shoes gets shipped individually and sometimes if it's like a small shoe like a flat or like a sneaker they'll put two in one so that's what this is so let's open it up and get into it come on okay so everything five pounds is kind of the blanket company that houses a lot of different shoe companies so we're gonna see a lot of different names here so right now this is like lewy or levy but that is not gonna be the only brand that we see every box if I had to guess, would be a different brand. So everything five pounds is just the umbrella for many different shoe companies. Okay, look at these sizes, you guys, correct. Size four, size 37. Here we are, making waves, buying the correct size. Ooh, okay, so I did order these a while ago. Like I said, the shipping does take a decent while. So I think these took about two weeks to get to me, which is not too bad all the way from the UK. That being said, I don't really remember what the shoes are. So I'm going to be surprised every step of the way. So here we go. <laughs> I love referencing things that I know nothing about. So these kind of remind me of the Yeezy shoes, those like sock shoes that Kanye made. Like, I don't even know, was that years ago or was that a week ago? I'm not sure. But they are a really nice blush pink. They feel just like a thick, like soccer sock. If you've ever played soccer and had to wear those really thick socks, it feels like that. Like it would almost hold you in. Like a spank of sorts, spanks. Spank. <laughs> this actually looks very, very cute. And if I had to say, it feels very good quality. I always try and snap the heel to test the quality because you know what? I will not have a heel snap. And I'm pulling on it pretty good and she's not breaking. That is the quality test because if I'm ever wearing a shoe and the heel snaps off, I will take it personally. But this, it looks very good. It's nice and pointed in the front, feels soft. We'll see how comfortable it is to wear. So I'm gonna go and try these on my feetsies. Then we'll know for sure. How good are they? So the first pair of shoes I have on are these really cute, well, you just saw them, 
but I have them on now. First things first, the underlying full thing thoughts on these shoes are these are fun shoes, okay? I 100% would be jealous of anyone wearing these. They're very cute, very fun. I will say they're not the most comfortable shoes just because they are so high, but the way that they are high, usually I would be like flying out the front of the shoe, but in this case, because they are sock, they are like holding me in a little bit. They do kind of have a tendency to bunch up a little bit at the front, like as I'm moving them around, they will start to fall down just a little bit. Maybe that's because I have a lack of calf muscle, but either way, they do fall a little bit. Calf I meant calf, not a baby cow. But yeah, these are super, super cute. I love the color. I actually usually don't like pointed toe shoes, but these ones are actually really cute. I think it works. So these for sure get a thumbs up. So far, so good. All right, next, what brand do we got? It's a different box. We've got Martin Prescator. I don't know how to pronounce it, obviously, but this is got a little bird holding a little shrimp of sorts, a little shrimpy. Let's see. Ooh, are these sneakers? Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Past Mia has taste. What is this style of shoe? It's like a sneaker of sorts, but I feel like this style has a name where it's got the same build to it. It is one of those and it's got a bit of a platform to it and it feels nice and structured but it actually feels nice and soft and padded like so far I would almost say from the last video the quality of this video feels better I think that would be impossible for them to have upgraded the quality since that I think I'm just getting lucky and picking shoes that feel really good quality they've got nice grips on the bottom I'm excited to see what these are like like the platform feels pretty thick it's like a good two inches or three inches so all right let's put these ones on they're feeling good they're actually honestly a woven fabric like i can feel it it almost feels like a straw hat but the inside does not feel like a straw hat thank goodness let's put them on oh my gosh okay these are so adorable firstly very very comfortable i was a little bit worried about how they were like this woven fabric on the outside but on the inside they're very comfortable the sole is super super comfortable i don't usually worry about the sole too much just because i do have orthopedics that I put in my shoes because like I told you guys before I broke my leg and it cast wrong whatever you know the story so basically I never worry too much about the sole but in this case just so you guys know if you don't put soles in your shoes these have comfortable soles already they definitely make me feel a lot taller and again they are a statement shoe right now I'm wearing like these blue jeans and just like a basic shirt and these are definitely the most eye-catching super cute and might I add they do in fact fit so you guys were right i was 100 percent wrong with the sizing i knew you guys were right but here is proof the shoes are fitting all right so those last two were shipped together so we've got to open up a new box which feels like it only has one so hopefully these are some big bold shoes all right this time we've got marquis there are so many different brands i mean we're gonna run into like nine different oh my what okay so these are like sweater sneakers by concept sound amazing and that's obviously why i purchased them but now looking at them i'm actually you know what i might still be on board i don't know yet okay i'm just gonna dust them off a little bit because i think some of the thread is like cross contaminating the other thread but if you just brush it out a little, little bit it looks better okay so instantly i'm thinking of some cons to these shoes hence going out in water or snow or mud of any sorts these would get so so dirty but if you live somewhere where it's clean all the time all you're always on nice clean concrete that would be perfect conditions for these shoes even a little bit of dust would get these so dirty i'm happy i picked a dark color because if these were like all white i think they would be just a recipe for dirty shoes but i think they're very very cute they don't feel super super expensive but that being said they weren't super expensive so i will just put them on hopefully they fit well the sole feels very strong though i will say like it's a nice thick thick plastic actually is this silicone i don't know but it's thick okay i decided to put these on without socks on just because i was very curious about what the sweatery feeling would feel like on the inside the fluffy feeling that the outside of these shoes have does in fact exist in the inside it's super super soft i'm not wearing socks right now inside and it feels like i'm wearing slippers though i will say out of all the shoes we've tried so far these definitely feel the least expensive like the most inexpensively made so i'm not going to 
to give them a thumbs up. I just don't think that these are worth it. I think that there's a lot better shoes on everything five pounds than these, but I am happy to have them. I don't know when I'll wear them, but they're fun, they're cute, and they're different. Okay, when I picked up this box, it felt like I was picking up air. So I have no idea what shoes I would have got that would be this light. So let us see. Ooh, what is this? Moo, moo, M-O-O-W, Mo. Very nice. This is an eye-catching box for sure. And I think in here are some heels. Oh yeah, I remember these. Ooh, okay, so I love this style of heel. I think it's so, so cute. And this is definitely like a suede, like imitation suede feeling. It's a really pretty like camel tan color. And I really, really like these. I don't know why. They open up right in the front. It also has like a little toe opening so you can see the toes this is a very high heel again this is a fabric that would be problematic if you got it wet so you would have need perfect conditions to keep these nice or oh there's those sealants that you can spray so that would probably be necessary if you plan on wearing these a lot the quality feels great though like seriously i see no difference between these shoes and the ones that i try on when i go into like an actual shoe store they both feel very quality and very sturdy so let me put these on and just see if there's any critiques I can find. Oh my goodness, okay, these are a very odd sensation that I'm experiencing right now. Just because usually with this type of shoe that closes in the front, I don't ever have any of this action of like flying out the front. But in this case, it's so open, I could just slip out the front. But they do feel a little bit wide for my feet, but I think that's just because I have abnormally like thin feet, like little rabbits. So I won't judge it on that, but if you've ever been told that you have rabbit feet, then these might be a little bit too wide for you. But that aside, they're very cute. They're super comfortable. Like I literally can't even believe how inexpensive they were because they are so comfortable. The heel's good. I would never guess that these were five pounds. So I think that is a win. They're super, super cute, comfortable, and they look just like the picture online. It's really hard to talk when you can't see my face. So I'm trying to like communicate myself through my feet. So hopefully it's working. Okay, we've got Via Gurlia, which is a very fun name. I feel like that's like the type of name I would make up, like Via Gurlia, unless I'm pronouncing it wrong. And that is very understandable that I could be. Now these look like heels again. Ooh, I remember I got some like weird shoes, okay? Like I remember I was like, should I get them? Like I don't think anyone would really wear them, but I was like, I should get them. Maybe this is the first pair like that, I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think these are the first pair of like kind of weird shoes because look at that. That is a crazy shoe. I'm so excited to have this in my closet. It's this really subtle tan color, but then when you look at it, it's got this glass heel that you can just boop right through and then again you could boop right through the pump it's weird though because all of a sudden looking at it i'm like how could anyone walk the heels attached but then it's like it's a wedge oh my gosh it looks like there's like humidity in the heel it's like glass but it looks like there's like humidity building up interesting if you can see in the heel it looks like there's like water build up in the heel that is so interesting again it feels like good quality i'm gonna try and break it Ugh! i feel like the best test of these shoes is if i could just snap it Ugh! no it's holding up all right i'll put it on these are fun shoes all right fun shoe alert you guys first things first i didn't do a disclaimer at the beginning of this video but for everyone curious why my feet are purple, I just have bad circulation. Don't get worried. It's nothing big. I know it's alarming. My feet are like purpley red, but I just have really bad circulation. It's okay. But anyways, okay, so these are such fun shoes. Like, oh my gosh, they are such statement exciting heels. Like, I honestly love that. The only issue is, is I'm not able to tighten it. I'm gonna have to make my own hole in this band right here. I'm just gonna have to make my own hole in there just because the pre-cut holes the straps are too big which is like such a small thing like it's no big deal but I think once those actually fit tighter then all the straps will be pulled back more and this will be more fitting because right now it's a little ill-fitting to my feet it's not bad like you can get the idea so let's just look only at the heels oh my gosh my feet look really sick too big oh my gosh can I even walk in these Oh, turns out she can. Ooh, okay, this box celebrates the snow we've gotten recently. So, Daveine shoes. Let's see. Oh my goodness, what are these? 
Oh my gosh, I love these. These are like, okay, I was almost gonna say I absolutely love these, but I personally just don't love pointed toe shoes. I know I buy a few of them, and that's just because I like to buy shoes that I think you guys would like as well, not just like my personal style, because I want to try and get like lots of different styles. But I don't personally like pointed toe shoes. I think it just makes my foot look like a flipper but that's just me. I love the print of this shoe and I'm gonna try not to judge on my personal sense of style because don't love the point, but a lot of people will like it. This boot is super cute, super like strong feeling fabric. The heel is very, very small. This is almost like a three inch heel I feel like, or maybe even a little less. It's very nice, feels built well. I'm excited to put this on. This would definitely be like a statement piece in an outfit. It's very pretty and fun. I'm excited about them. Hopefully I can get over the pointed toe. All right, so I would never wear these boots with these pants rolled up like this, but I just wanted you to be able to see the whole boot moment. Now, these are very manageable heels. They're very small. I don't usually wear heels like this just because I feel like it elongates your foot a ton, and especially with this point, my foot is looking a thousand feet long, but it's also a very nice statement. Like these boots, are so cute. If anything, I would just love a rounded toe on this and they would be so nice because like this is where my toe is. Like right where it's bending, that's where my foot ends. So like there's a lot of extra there. But that being said, I love the fabric. I love the feel of them. They feel nice. And I also really like the pattern. So I think I'll still give them a thumbs up. I just don't personally like the style, but if you do, these are great and totally worth it the money okay next shoe box this one actually doesn't have a name on it oh my gosh i got cheetah print platform sneakers oh my gosh so my mom recently got printed snakeskin sneakers and i was really inspired to get some printed sneakers so i got these cheetah print ones and these have a huge platform on them i think this platform is very much what is the word it's just a look it's a very sassy shoe the shoe has attitude because of the platform not only just the cheetah print this shoe feels very much like a knockoff converse in my opinion but i think with saying that i think it will definitely serve its purpose like it wouldn't be like an everyday wearing shoe but i think it will look cute and it'll be a statement in an outfit so let me put it on oh my gosh Okay, I love these. I like these a lot more than I even thought I would and I thought I would like them They're so high like honestly I think that the style when they get super super high is called like a creeper and these are borderline that they might even be that I love the statement cheetah print and I just love how high they go I almost wish they were like all white or all black and then it could just be like almost an illusion when you look at the feet like is it that much of a platform or is that not but either way i like them they definitely give you like the brats chunky shoe look which i am a huge fan of yeah i really really like these there's not much to be said i will say the quality feels a lot better on than i thought they would like when i was holding them i wasn't too sure about them but now having them on I definitely trust them. So these get a big check mark. They might be my favorite, honestly. I don't want to say, but they might be. Right, last but certainly not least, what do we got? We got Joxy New Style. What are these? Do you guys want to see them first? Are they nice? Oh, you can't see it anyways. It looks like a big chunky oh my gosh i remember these i really personally honestly wanted this shoe i think it's so cute it's so 70s it almost reminds me of like if corduroy pants was a shoe this is what it would be like 70s corduroy bell bottoms as a shoe are these it's got a really chunky 70s like kind of groovy like disco heel that pushes out at the bottom it's very chunky and then at the front it's got these cute little tassels oh my gosh this is adorable i hope these fit they are so cute i love the two-tone as well and it feels very nice and soft good quality oh my gosh i hope they don't break come on don't break they didn't. All right, so that being said, I'm gonna try these on. Hopefully these are awesome. Hopefully we end off with a bang. All right, last but certainly not least, we have these chunky corduroy looking shoes. Oh my gosh, I love these by far. I thought the last ones were my favorite, but these ones are so much my favorite. I remember loving these on the website. I can't even believe that these were $8 Canadian. They are so 
cute. I love the tassels in the front. They fit really good. They're a little bit big on the back, but I think that's my own problem. So I'll just put like a little sticky pad in. They're so cute though. Like I love this style. It's super easy to walk in, even though it is super high up just because the heel is super wide and there is a pump. I really, really like these. They're so nice. I mean, like, look at them. They're so cute. <laughs> All right, guys, so that has been trying on a bunch of shoes from Everything 5 Pounds that actually fit. Thank you guys so much for enlightening me on UK sizes. Like, I don't know why I didn't have that knowledge, but I do now and I won't forget it. I can honestly say I really, really liked all of the shoes that I got. Yes, they aren't the highest quality, but I think they are actually surprisingly great quality for the price that you're paying. I really like all the styles. There are so many styles on everything five pounds. By the way, this isn't sponsored. It's all my opinions and the brand doesn't know I'm doing it. But yeah, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this and want to see more, make sure to click the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!